Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Alright, so who are we doing? We did Cancer, I got one uploading for Leo. Uh, let's do Virgo. Virgo, I always do you last. Alright, so let's see. I always do the ones that don't get that many views last, so there's that. It kind of seems like Virgo can take it or leave it, so I'm going to make this quick for you. <laughs> All right, Virgo, let's see what we got going on for you. Give me three for Virgo, please, and thank you, most important messages. Somebody has a confession here, all right? Luck is on your side. All right, the door is open. It's time to move on from a situation here. All right, but it's a yes coming towards you. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, pets could be involved here. So here could be getting a new pet. Give me more messages for Virgo. All right. Let's see. Give me messages for Virgo, please and thank you. All right, Virgo, this is telling you to stand your ground. Sacrifice, all right, there's something that you're going to have to let go of, something that you may have to spend extra time on or something like that. But whatever this is, this is telling you to keep forging ahead, okay? Triumph and success. All right, so if you were going through some dark days, it looks like things are getting better. There's fertility here. It could be a pregnancy. But it looks like you have financial abundance coming towards you as well. Um, just better days overall. It does look like there was a situation that you were putting a lot of effort in, and it looks like you're definitely uh, cutting ties with this situation, looking in a new direction. And there's also a new opportunity ahead of you. Give me one more for Barco. <clears throat> All right. See, I told you, you're closing doors here. Realizing the truth and accepting. Why is it? I'm here and accepting the fate of a situation. Okay. Either way it goes, it looks like you're bringing some balance into your life here. Closing the door to the past, leaving old baggage behind. Old cycles are closing out. New ones are beginning. And whatever happened here, whoever you were dealing with, Whatever situation arise, believe me that this was a part of your destiny, okay? There was something in that season for you, okay? Or for someone else. Either way it goes, looks like you're cutting ties with something or someone. All right, now there may be something that you're wanting here and you may have to spend some extra time. Uh, there may be study involved. There may be money involved. I don't know what this is, but... It looks like whatever this is, it's going to make you happy. It's something that you're going to enjoy and it's something that you really, really want. And also, it looks like it's something that's going to be very prosperous and possibly will grow. All right, give me messages here for Virgo, please. And thank you. Can I get two more for Virgo? One more. All right, so you may be worried about failing in a situation here. Um, there may be some indecision when it comes to making decisions, okay, about a change here, okay? You may not be trusting your own judgment. All right, this is where you need to tap into your higher power, your higher source here. All right, there's growth coming for you, expansion. Um, you may feel that you may have made the wrong decision, especially because you might be facing a lot of obstacles, challenges, and things like that. So it's just telling you to continue to do what you need to do, reevaluate your, your situation, and first of all, make a decision, all right? What is going to make you happy? What's going to bring you peace, all right? Trust the process and trust yourself here as well. And when you don't know what to do, seek counsel, either from your higher source or somebody that knows a little bit more about what it is that you're trying to do, okay? All right, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so, oops, wrong pile. All right, my chair is squeaky. All right, so let's 
Let's get some of these about this situation. Someone definitely has something to say to you. Give me messages. Oh, right. Boundaries. Oh, okay. You're not alone. Everybody is getting nature. I think it might be something wrong with this card. <coughs> Maybe this is telling you to spend some time out in nature so that you can get grounded. You know what I mean? So that you can connect with your guides here as well. Also, if you're feeling overwhelmed, that's a good place to kind of go and woosah. Take your shoes off, put it in, put your feet in the grass and allow some of that negative energy to be absorbed into the soil. You understand that actually gets recycled through the trees, which turns that negative energy into positive, which is oxygen. All right. So that may be something that you want to think about doing as well. Getting some vitamin D, some of that sunlight on your face. Uh, close your close your eyes and just you know take in the sound of the leaves you know blowing in the wind and things like that kind of loose up all right make sure that you set some healthy boundaries with some people here as well uh, no matter what the situation is looking like especially in the face of adversity continue to do what you're doing with courage and and faith and strength here as well all right ooh also with acceptance here whatever happened in the past let bygones be bygones accept the truth of a situation okay and bring balance back into your life make a decision to forge ahead see take the first steps absolutely look at things from a different perspective from a higher perspective not so much on the 3d we understand that hurt and pain happens in life but sometimes we don't know why okay it's time to see things from a different perspective yoda Give me one more, please, and thank you. All right, vision. Let's see. All right, so there's also a need to keep your eyes on the prize for your future here as well. All right, and some of you might be actually uh, getting glimpses of what's to come and, and about certain people, and, you know, your intuition may be kind of tapping you. You know, hey, you know what, you need to check this out. You might be getting visions and dreams and things like that, uh, of what's to come look at this also whatever your dreams your goals your desires are here as well there may be a little bit of worry and concern that things are not coming together you're not sure what to do this is where you need to get grounded get centered spend time with source here all right start writing down the things that you want to achieve and things like that you understand sometimes when you see it and you put it down it's not all up in the air it's actually right in front of you. You can put it in a category and, and try to figure out, okay, prioritize things. You understand? What do you need to do now? Um, sometimes when you're just thinking about a whole bunch of stuff, I got to get this done, that done, this done, but everything is not an emergency. Sometimes you'll send yourself into a tailspin of worry, stress, and isolation and all this other stuff, and there's no need to do that, okay? So, um, set some healthy boundaries for yourself. Know when to tell yourself no and to sit down and relax. Woo-saw. You understand not when to go in a situation and when to. Also, being indecisive is a form of stagnancy, okay? Because when you don't know what to do, you don't do anything most of the time. Or either you impulsively make the wrong decision, okay? So, there is a need to try to center yourself so that you can actually make some wise decisions here. <sighs> And like I said, set some healthy boundaries with yourself and stick to them, okay? Learn to tell yourself no. And what I mean by that is you may have certain situations where, you know, you're trying to, you know, you're the captain that runs to save everybody, okay? And sometimes to your own detriment and things like that, sometimes you have to learn how to say no, okay? There's that. Pay attention to your dreams here. You might be getting downloads about your situation, about certain people in your life here as well, and also which steps that you're supposed to take, which direction you're supposed to go in here, okay? All right, so a bunch of random messages. All right, so luck is on your side here, and I'm asking about this confession, and it's not giving me anything. Let's see. Give me messages about this confession. What does someone want to tell Virgo? What do they want to say to Virgo? <clears throat> Somebody is holding back here. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that. Some weird noise coming from this door. Okay, give me messages. What is this person holding back? There's somebody else here. There's a third party here. This person is holding back that they may have healed a connection with someone else. They're keeping this in secret. And I saw that when I first pulled the first card and just didn't want to say anything. I wanted to see if it was going to come out. This person is closing this cycle out. And they want to be fair. They healed a connection with someone that they have an attachment to. It may be an unhealthy attachment too. Let's see, give me more messages. This is possibly someone they have children with as well. This person may be trying to work this out with this person here. They may have been on the outs with this person for a while. And someone has been holding this back from you. Somebody's reuniting with their person, see? <clears throat> yeah. And they possibly have a family with this person. Give me one more for this confession. The Knight of Wands, somebody's taking action here. Yeah, to put in an effort to fix something with someone that they love. Yep. Look. This person is still into this queen of pentacles. They want to reunite, like I said. See? Somebody's going home to their spouse. And this could be someone that was married to this person. Okay? All right. So what is yes? Luck is on your side. Could have dodged a bullet here. I don't know. You know what? Honestly, you moving on from this person <clears throat> possibly works out for your highest good. This person will bring conflict and all kind of stuff into your life. Uh, this person was possibly being manipulative with you, putting you on the back burner here, and you may have found out the truth, and you dealing with this person stand in this connection glad that it didn't work out in a way possibly would have blocked who is actually for you and I think you may be realizing this situation here alright so let's see give me more messages about this person or this yes I say give me more yeah see the eight of cups wanted to pop out here you walked away from this and this is a blessing for you Excuse me. Oh, my God. That was random. What did I say? Yep. You closing out the cycle with this person is sending you right into who is who you're meant to be. Luck is on your side. You got blessings coming for you here. Closing out the cycle. You got communication coming in here. The truth as well. All right. Leaving something behind. Moving forward. So either this person is coming to tell you the truth. Or you're going to find out. But either way it goes, you're moving into common waters. You're moving into, yeah, you're moving into blessings, abundance. <laughs> yes, what did I say? You're Ten of Cups. This person also might tell you, you might not have known, but th this person might tell you that they have family with somebody. 
this person might actually tell you that there is somebody pregnant here, okay? That they are going home and they were on a break from this connection, okay? And they were holding this back from you. Let's see. Yep, that past connection, see? All right, but whatever it is, sweetheart, you got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups coming towards you, all right? So, and it looks like you got an emperor coming towards you. Total happiness, peace, contentment, okay? Loving on yourself, looking good, smelling good, all right? Being treat, treated good, okay? All right, you got a spiritual connection here as well. All right, I like this. So, I wouldn't even trip off of this. This was not for you. Maybe this person needed to go through this separation with their person to realize who they had. Maybe they were taking their person for granted. Maybe it was vice versa. I don't know. But this person came into your life for a reason. It was really only for a season. All right. So let's see. Clarify this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be this person's sign. I don't know. All right, this is someone that is in Hermit, okay? This could be this person here, I don't know. Let's see. Any messages about this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? <clears throat> I am gonna pull some more signs to see if there's any other signs that fall out. Now, keep in mind that these placements could be anywhere in the chart. Sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, whatever. You know what I mean? So, there's that. All right. So, Queen of Cups. It looks like you might have an air sign coming towards you from the past. Somebody that you have history with that their feelings may be hurt. But this person may be wanting something new with you. So this could be somebody that you're familiar with. This person has just been low-key. It kind of looks like they, they kind of they like you. Let's see. Give me more on this air sign, please, and thank you. <clears throat> Give me more on this air sign, please, and thank you. Oh. And this is the same reason why I started flipping the deck. Okay, so this is someone that is laying in wait, just waiting, finds you very attractive, okay? Um, you and this person could have had a fallout or whatever, I don't know, or this person may have had a tower moment in their life, and maybe they're healing here. However, this is somebody that is aware of you. They're not moving forward yet. All right. This person may feel that if they come forward to you, yeah, they're confused. This person don't know what to do. This person is just waiting. Okay. They find you attractive as I don't know what, but this person also feels that you are very cold and distant and you will cut this person off. You may have had a bad history with this person. Okay. Closed out a cycle. So this might be an ex. Okay, for some of you here, or someone that you have history and this person knows that you're feeling some type of way about them. Obviously, they're feeling some type of way as well. Possibly have reevaluated this tower moment between you two, and it looks like they want to heal this connection. All right, so <clears throat> this is crazy. All right, so you have somebody that has a lot to say here, and they're on the hush right now. They're not saying anything. They're kind of quiet, possibly because this person doesn't know how to express what exactly what they want to say or how they want to say it. OK. Oh, my God. Why is this coming up? All right. So you got somebody here. That is going back to an ex and then we got somebody coming here for you. And these are two different people. These are two different people. Clarify. This is two different people. Hmm. 
whoever this is may be focused on their money right now and just trying to get their life uh, right here. They're more focused on growth here. This is also someone that plans on coming in with some type of communication wanting to get into a connection with you. This person might know that you're into someone else. <clears throat> Worried if they're going to be rejected. This person may watch you online. They may watch what you post too. So this person is taking a long time to come towards you. This person may be in their head about this situation. Should I, should not. Should I let Virgo know that I'm interested. Let's see. I wasn't going to pull these. Let's see. Give me messages. Give me two for this situation. <clears throat> heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, and separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. That's this person over here. All right, so let's see. One more. Leaving space. Give yourself time to heal. Right one can't come in if the wrong one is there. Clear the drawer for them or clear a drawer for your new person, okay? Uh, yeah, a lot of times they tell you if you want to, uh, you know, bring somebody new into your life, make room for them. All right. So like it says, clear a drawer, makes a space in your closet and things like that. As if that person is moving right on in. OK, <laughs> I'm just saying there's especially some older folks. I've heard uh, heard them say that as well. So there's that you're manifesting your person. So, yeah, um, it looks like someone is making a return here. Um, there's heartbreak here, and I don't know if it's on your side or theirs. Could be both. And, uh, yeah, somebody possibly thought the grass was greener on the other side, and they found out that it is not. Yeah, so it looks like somebody wants to come in and possibly propose after a separation here. So... There's that. I don't know. So, dang, this is, Virgo, this has gotten pretty deep. Okay, and I want to see what this person wants to say to you. <clears throat> We're going to have a conversation between you and them. The cards with the large print is from them. The ones with the smaller print, if you want to say anything to this person, will be to this person. Okay, all right, from you. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> Give me messages about this situation. Um, okay, this is a full-fledged conversation going on. Anything else? Okay, there we go. This person wants to know what do you see in them? Okay, so somebody here has some self-esteem issues. All right, issues communicating how they feel. We already see that as well. Um, they possibly were wondering your, were your feelings authentic, although they possibly knew they were. This person possibly self-sabotages connections as well, feeling that they are not going to work. You're not going to be with them for long. You're going to see who they really are and dislike them. So this person wants to know, what is it that you see in them? What do you love about me? Is it the fact that you love me or the fact that you just have a body next to you? This person's inquiring mind wants to know, okay? All right, and it says, how could you ever forgive the mess that I've made? All right, so there's that. This person is expecting some type of retaliation or something like that if they come through. So I think this is another reason why this person is holding back. It's dark without you. So yeah, I guess you were the sunshine. You are the sunshine of my life. All right, so in other words, you know, you made this person's day, this their life. Uh, there are situations when they're going through things a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter, okay? And it says, don't treat me the way that you do. I don't deserve it, okay? So I don't know how you treat this person, but they don't like it, all right? They don't like it at all. Um, I don't know. Maybe this person, want, may, did you start ignoring this person or whatever? 
kind of want to clarify that if you're treating this person some kind of way or whatever and it says i want to be different so someone here wants to change they want to make changes in the connection between you and them this person might realize that there's some past tower moments in their life that's uh affecting this connection and how they show up in a connection as well and it says don't put up with my bs absolutely not um you possibly realize that this person was, you know, acting a little weird, acting a little strange, acting a little unacceptable, okay? Out of line and out of order, okay? So you may have cut this person off, put boundaries between you and this person, chose you over the shenanigans, okay? And moved on. <clears throat> and maybe they saw this. Doesn't matter if the, your new connection worked out or not, okay? This person knows that you're in the mode to actually close the door on them, okay? And it says, I need to hold back my true feelings for you, okay? So we got somebody in Houston. We got a problem. We got another person that is holding back here, and this is part of the problem. All right, it's kind of a trip because <clears throat> the very thing that this person is doing is the very thing that is possibly destroying this connection okay if you love somebody sweetheart you gotta let them know especially if you know that this person cares for you if you're holding back how you truly feel about someone and you know that that person cares for you um you're taking a chance on losing that person because that person may feel that well you know what maybe you're just not into me Maybe I'm wasting my time here. You know, what am I putting the effort in, in this for, okay? Uh, this person says it's all too much. I think this overwhelms this person. Um, it's possibly a very intense connection. Maybe you have someone that is just naturally kind of guarded. I do feel that there's some heartache here. Like I said, there may be some things that happen in this person's past that still plague them and affect them in certain ways. Maybe you have someone that is emotionally kind of detached a little bit they don't get really you know emotionally uh close to people you know some some folks are just like that you know so there's that let's see what you have to say to this person it looks like you don't have a lot to say wow you said i'm sorry i couldn't be what you needed me to be i underestimated how important you are in my life so, yeah, I think that uh, both of you are realizing that there is some significance into this relationship. However, it kind of looks like, you know what, um, you realize that you were given all that you can. You know, you were probably morphing yourself into being someone that you're not trying to keep this connection going, trying to appease this person and just realize that, you know what, trying to be someone or learn how to be someone that you're not is exhausting and it's still not fixing the connection so why bother you understand so you know you love this person and you understand that you know they mean more to you than they ever could that you could ever think however you need to choose you in this situation you know what I mean and I think whatever happened in this connection between you and them I think there was a lot of of growth on both ends okay even with this person here this is a trip now i want to clarify let's see this person over here let's see what do they want to say to you let's clarify this person that has confessions what do they want to say to virgo nervous you make me nervous even just thinking about you i get nervous I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Okay, I'm leaving. What did I say? What did I say? So this person has been holding back this whole time that they've got somebody else here. Okay, so it says, I'm ready to leave this situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. Okay, so um, I don't know if you two just aren't spiritually aligned or whatever, but this person what it is i think that they found their soulmate i think this person has realized that they were out playing games they may have really taken their person for granted especially if this person is coming up as this person is husband and wife their matches okay so like i said i think someone is like you know what i need to go home 
It's, I'm getting a picture of like, you know, when Forrest went for a run and he was just running all over the world. He had all this entourage behind him, following him everywhere. You understand? This could be third parties, whatever. I don't know. Out having fun, just, you know, living life, life, la vida loca, whatever, you know. And this person realized that, you know what? That's all cool and dandy, but after the party is after waking up with, you know, several different people that don't even care about my essence, you know, the real me, you know, they like that thing I do and the money that I spend, but do they really care if anything happened to me? You understand? This person realized the value in that connection, so they're going back. And it kind of seems like, Virgo, that you have stimulated this and someone else here from your past. And, uh, yeah, it looks like you're moving forward to something new. I don't know, but someone's coming to tell you that they're leaving. And then you have someone that is eventually showing up to come towards you. This is a major trip. So I think <laughs> I'm going to call this in and out. All right, so let's see. Who is the person that has the confessions for Virgo? This may be a Leo uh, or a Taurus, or a Taurus with Leo in, in their chart, or flip it. All right. Oh, okay. So this could be a Leo with Taurus in their Venus. Doesn't necessarily have to be. All right. Just take it out. Resonates, honey. Okay. So this person could have these uh, aspects in anywhere of their chart. All right. So don't you have to be. Anyway, you got decisions to make here, Virgo. You have brand new opportunities coming towards you. And it's a trip, it's because by not reuniting with someone from your past. So I don't kind of know what you're going to do here. Let's see. Or should I say dealing with this person again? You know what I mean? Putting boundaries with this first person that's coming in with the confessions. Let's see what's the actions you should take towards this air sign, though. Oh. You might have a commitment coming in here. Oh, look. You might have a commitment coming in here, sweetie. All right. Mm. All right. So... Somebody might not like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this back and ask. But you might have a committed connection coming up here. All right, let's see. You got to clear the drama out, though. Um, I'm showing you a new beginning now. But the drama from the past, you got to clear that out, okay, with this person. And then, too, if you decide to take this person back, get into a relationship. <laughs> That means you forgive the things that happened in the past. You can't allow this person to come back into your life and then hold everything that went wrong that they did in the past against them, okay? You can't torture them with that. If you allow this person to come in, that means that you forgive that tower, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? Don't use it as a, as a weapon. I'm going to keep this back here. So every time you trip, uh, I'm going to get it. I'm, you know, I'm going to remind you of everything that happened, okay, in that connection. Don't do that. All right, so let's see. Okay. This is somebody that's conflicted in their head. They do want to talk here, okay? You got some communication coming in. This person uh, wants to tell you exactly how they feel. They possibly want to come in with an apology here. This person is coming in with hopes of having full success in a relationship, getting this off of the ground with you again. Uh, this person may feel that, you know, it's taking them a lot to come in. Look, this person is coming in expressing love. Here, this person knows exactly what the hell they want. Oh, my goodness. Look, I don't know what you did. But whatever it is, okay, this person might want to have children with you, too. Let's see. I'm telling you, you got a commitment coming here for you. 
All right, you may be uh, you may be kind of defensive when it comes to this person here. You may not even be speaking to this person right here, but this person that keeps tabs on you know that much is true. Okay, and they're working on a plan to try to come towards you here as well. This person is being very careful on how they come towards you. Okay, they know they have to tread very very lightly here with you. Um, I think this person feels that. You don't trust them and that uh, there's still pain here from the past here. Like I said, you know, it's like you only speak to this person on a need to know basis. And if that somehow or another, this person is going to try to implement themselves back into your life. And they have a plan on trying to get into a committed relationship with you. Let's see. Give me more. What's up? Yeah, this is a. Uh, I'm telling you, this person is going to express love for you. And this is going to shock the hell out of you because I think this is very sincere. All right. This person has gone through a lot of changes, a lot of transformation since you two have split here. And this person is going to try to resurrect this uh, relationship. And I think if you get into this connection with this person, you will see them put forth effort here. However, they are expecting to be rejected. Now I'm kind of wondering if this Ace of Cups is them look this is this person has been taking their time they've been thinking about this i'm telling you somebody wants something brand new brand solid with you you understand all right so let's see give me messages please about this person temperance they want to heal the situation this person is determined to get this done bring this into balance here they're trying to manifest this all right so that's that six of cups there for whatever reason this person is still holding on to you they've never forgotten Okay, so give me messages on the Ace of Cups. Is it this air sign? Please and thank you. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. I think so. I think so. You got some, yeah, it is. It's this air sign. All right, you got somebody that's coming in. They want everything solid here. All right, so I do see some cups. We have the queen of cups. All right, so that was kind of concerning me. All right, so we have the ace of cups, the ten of cups, the queen of cups. So it's cool. There's some love here. All right, stability here. Let's work together. <laughs> now I'm hearing Al Green. Let's stay together. Loving you forever. Okay. All right. <laughs> I like it. This person is scared that you're going to walk away from them. So um, the reason why I think this is showing up as new love is because I think this person has done a whole change. Okay. They've, oh my God, now I'm hearing Lisa Stansfield been around the world and now, yeah, yeah. All right, so they've been out here and they, they haven't found anything like you. And I can't find my baby. Okay, so, all right. And when the chickens come home to roost, now I'm hearing that. I'm getting a whole bunch of weird messages for you. However, it looks like somebody is definitely coming towards you. Okay, so one is going out and one is coming back in. I feel like one of those old school parents come on in this house and close my door. Okay, so there's that. I don't know. Virgo, you got a decision to make here, sweetheart. Uh, what this sacrifice is going to be, I don't know. You might have to let your guard down if you're thinking about allowing this person back in. I always say pray about this situation. Ask Source to give you the messages that you need. Okay, trust your intuition. Stand your ground. In other words, if you set some healthy boundaries with yourself and you set them with this person, adhere to them. Okay, there's that. So, but it looks like somebody's coming in. They, they've had a change of heart and... Uh, they want to come back in and let's do this right. So, like I said, one is leaving and the other one is going. Okay. I mean, one is coming and one is going. All right. So, let's see. Give me messages for Virgo. All 
All right, external forces are influencing you. Pay attention to what fulfills you. Happiness does not require permission. Absolutely. You do what's best for you, sweetheart, okay? There's that. And it says you've been through an, a tough time, but with strength and determination, you will recover. Give me one more, please, and thank you. Heal the past. Enjoy the present. Embrace the future. All right. And let go and allow spirit to take the lead. This is in the hands of the divine. So... Don't try to control the situation. If you like, see where this person is coming from. You know, open up the lines of communication. If you like what you hear, then proceed with caution. If not, then close the door. Okay? It is up to you. Follow your intuition here and trust it. Okay? Trust those red flags that you see as well. And then, too, um, if somebody is trying to cross some boundaries that... Uh, you have a problem with it, I say don't let it slide. All right, what you let slide today, someone will, you know, just kind of float through it tomorrow. All right, there's that. So anyway, Virgo, this is what I got for you. If you could, please hit the like button for your girl. I greatly appreciate it. All right, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Bye.